When she's late in her lactation and early in her dry period, it's pretty easy for a cow to get enough calcium from the food she eats. But as she gets closer to giving birth, her calf's bones are growing rapidly, and the need for calcium increases by 2 to 10 grams a day. At calving, milk production starts, and since milk is rich in calcium, a cow's need for calcium suddenly increases another two to three times in one day alone. Where is she going to get that urgently needed extra calcium? There's no place to go but her bones. But the problem with mobilizing bone calcium is that it's a slow-moving source, taking two to three days to get to where it needs to be. And by the first day after calving, a cow's blood calcium can easily drop well below the threshold of subclinical hypocalcemia. In general, over half of cows in their second lactation and beyond are at risk of subclinical hypocalcemia, which can start a cascade of unfortunate events. For instance, low calcium levels can inhibit muscle and nerve activity, which can lead to falls and eventually culling. And poor smooth muscle function brings on slower GI tract activity, so a cow feels full when it's not and eats less. The loss of dry matter intake continues to decrease calcium intake, and the cascade continues. Here's where dairy producers could benefit from two boluses of Bovacal, an oral calcium supplement given when cows need it most, at calving and again 12 hours later. Talk to your veterinarian about the risk of hypocalcemia in your herd, then contact your BIVI representative to learn more about Bovacal.